Team Don uh, Team Dongon Rapa employee number 341 Sumugi loves the way her rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. Did I accidentally give her a rocket launcher? Well, it's too late to change that. <laughs> Good people, it is another fine Friday in the year of the Aviator. I'm your United States Aviator, and welcome back to... Ah, yes, that beautiful music. That means it's time for Rapa Hunger Games. Yes, again, we are here on the Murder Game Simulator. And we have pop up a couple comments, because a lot of people have actually suggested something like this. A split versus legit episode, and if I missed a comment... Ah, that's my bad, because there were a lot of them, to be honest, but you all asked in a different way, so it's kind of hard to search for all of those comments. Um, we've got legitimate characters and their split personalities, or some other version of them. So, rather than continue to try and explain it, allow me to introduce the 30 competitors who are here today, starting at the top. We have Hajime, we have Celeste, we have Togami, we have Taka. Cory, Cory, Cory is in the house. Toko's here. Non AI Chiaki is here. Junko's here. Chihiro, Mukuro, Peko, Samugi, Gonta, Usami, and Nakamaru. That is our legit team. And if we go over, I think you'll see something very similar. Oh, oh my goodness. It is basically another version of all of them. Starting at the top for Hajime, we have Azuru. For Celeste, we have her real identity, Teiko, Yasuhiro. For Togami, we have the ultimate imposter, Fat Togami, as we like to call him yonder these parts. We have Kiando for Kiyotaka. We have Sister for Gori in the house. We have Toko's Genocide Jack. We have Chiaki, the op not the opposite, pretty much an identical person for AI or non AI Chiaki. We have Ryoko for Junko. We have Alter Ego for Chihiro, we have Fake Junko for Mukuro, we have, I guess this is a really fake Sparkling Justice to be honest, let's go ahead and type that in. Fake Sparkling Justice for Pekka, we have Team Danganronpa employee number 341 Samugi, I just tossed her a number because I'm sure they have plenty of employees. AI Gonta for Gonta, Monami for Usami, and Mekamaru for Nekamaru, and those are our split team and our legit team, so tell me. I want to know a couple of things, actually. Tell me. Who's your favorite combination? Could it be Hajime and Azuru? Might it be Togami and Fat Togami? Not AI Chiaki and Chiaki? Chihiro Alter Ego? Who could it be? You tell me. I'll tell you after this, after this pause, but I need to, I need to know a couple more things, of course, because this is the season of winners versus losers. Tell me who you think is going to get first. Tell me who you think is going to get last, aka 30th place today. And tell me... Don't tell me this now, actually. Well, actually, first, also tell me which, which side do you like the best, Team Split or Team Legit? But don't tell me this part now. Wait until the end of the episode. Tell me which team you're on, because after this episode, we only have two. Two more episodes this season. So tell me if you're on Team Winners or Team Losers. But don't do that now. Don't do that now. Tell me after this episode, because this episode could sway your opinion. It could sway your opinion totally. So tell me those those things, and then wait until the, the, uh, the episode ends to edit or reply to your own comment. Tell me. That's all I want to know. And I will tell you after I, um... I don't... Just, just, I'm not going to pause today. I'm not going to do that. And I'm really not gonna pause today. I think I'm going to save the next pause for the finale. Yep. And I'm not even gonna do it at the regular pause portion for the finale. I'm gonna do it when you least expect it. <laughs> My dastardly plan has begun. Ladies and gentlemen. That's enough that's enough shenanigans. That's enough that's a, a small a small rant. Small rant. Small not even a rant. A small shoot. I'm shooting my best shot. My favorite combination here is gotta be Toko and Jack. Without a doubt, you guys. I love Toko and Jack. Mostly because of Ultra Despair Girls. Because that that game. That game, low-key one of my favorites in this franchise. Low-key probably number two or number one, to be honest. If we go in terms of which team I think is going to win. I think I like Team Legit better, but I think Team Split is going to take this victory, and I think it's going to come from Kiyanto. 
Hyundo's gonna win this one, and I think the loser's gonna come from over here on Team Legit, and I think the loser will actually be... Usami. She knows that her brother is on the winner's bracket, so she's like, I need to stop him at all cost. Usami's gonna join the loser's bracket. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's it. I'll tell you if I'm winners or losers after this one. Those are my picks. You have your picks in the comments, and I'll see them. Because I do. I do that. I do that. I go down there and I look at all of them and I'm like, ah, oh, yes, yes, that was a good pick. Ah, oh, that was almost a perfect pick when you got there. But, it's Friday. It's the year of the aviator. And it is time to start this game. Let's see who wins. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Because I think... It... Yeah, I'll stick with this on me. I'll stick with this on me. I was gonna switch to Cory in the house for last place, because for some reason, before I clicked start round, I had a gut feeling of a change. So let's go ahead and start the round and see if my gut feeling was right. I... I'm not sure. We'll find out. But, it's round one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, there are no podiums. There are no tributes. But there are. Horns. What? Oh yeah, they're over there in the distance. Can you sound those? A little bit louder. A little bit louder. Sound the horns. Thank you. Usami follows some sparkles. Well, clearly my last place pick is not going to lose now. Or I guess they, she could. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, she's got a magic wand, which is very fitting, actually. The first event of this game, very fitting. Alter Ego does his best to avoid Takeo. Gonto is ready to defend his friends. Toko finds some leather scraps, just enough to become Caveman. Cave Woman Toko. Fake Sparkling Justice can't take her eyes off of fake Junko, the fake, the fake sisters. The fake sisters. Uh, Nekamaru hopes to get everyone out of here. That's not gonna happen, Nekamaru, I'm sorry. Kiando finally snaps. Kiando is now frenzied. Non AI Chiaki kind of wanders off, never to be seen again, and just like that, non AI Chiaki is in the loser's bracket. Good on you, non AI Chiaki. Fat Togami finds us all below his concern. Uh, Togami also wonders what he did to end up here. Ryoko does something really cute. Cory in the house is determined to survive this. Taka reminisces about non AI Chiaki and sobs quietly. Apparently, she had influence. I was so close! I'm sorry, I was, I was on a tangent, and I was about to say, wow, Chiaki has had influence on so many classes. But I was so close, Mukuro can't take it anymore, and Usami, and she snaps Usami's neck. I was one off. That is the one thing that has eluded me all season, getting a loser pick. I, I, I just can't do it. I just can't. I've gotten two winner's picks. Two, 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 but no losers. And I'm gonna go insane if I don't pick one, but I only have two more chances this season. Oh boy. So last mopes around uselessly. Monami, thanks Chiaki for being there for an act of betrayal. Fake Junko and Teiko team up and eliminate Alter Ego. Smoogie's looking for an easy out. Chiaki can't believe that Teiko has killed someone. You probably should believe that, girl. AI Gonta admires Nekam uh, Mechamaru's, I'm sorry, decisiveness. Teiko just wants it to end already. Teiko and Fake Sparkling Justice conspire against Sister. Sister whispers something in AI Gonta's ear, but AI Gonta is a bit too innocent to understand. Team Don Team Dongon Rapa employee number 341 Sumugi loves the way her rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. Did I accidentally give her a rocket launcher? Well, it's too late to change that. Junko hits on Togami, but Togami finds it suspicious. Genocide Jack is looking particularly erratic today. Chihiro asks Hajime if he's found anything useful. Nakamaro feels strong enough to handle anything. Hajime looks around for stuff to scrounge, and Azuru sets down a trap. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost three. Three souls are gone. Can I get a Claire de Lune for? Nane Ai Chiaki. Usami. Alter Ego. And that's just three down. That's one. Uh, that's one tenth? Yeah, 10% of the competition gone because we started with 30. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead. Let's continue. Not too many gone this day, but I have a feeling day two is going to be at least twice as bad. Yes, it is going to be at least twice as bad, <laughs> because round two. Mukuro seems unshaken by any of this. Kiando looks for his next victim. Chiaki gets 
caught in one of Azuru's traps and now all she can do is hope to be freed. Pekko and Gonta's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. Fake Junko doesn't care much for this place. Team Dongan uh, Team Danganronpa employee number 341 Tsumugi fires a rocket launcher. Fires a rocket at a group of enemies. Gonta and Pekko get caught in the explosion and are blown, uh, blown to bits. If you picked Gonta or Pekko, this is 100% my bad. Because I don't know how she got a rocket launcher, but apparently she has a rocket launcher, and that is 100% my bad. 100% my bad. My bad? <laughs> Cory in the house feels like Junko slowing her down, or slowing him down. Cory in the house gets rid of Junko. So long, member of the squad. Hajime wants to end things once and for all with AI Gonta and AI Gonta bites the dust. Ryoko finds Chiaki caught in a trap and manages to free her. Fake Sparkling Justice finds a big stick. It's like a store. Uh, not a store, a sword. Probably comes in handy to bash in some skulls. Genocide Jack ambushes Mukuro and slaughters her. Taiko can't take her uh, take uh, can't take her eyes off of sister. Sumuki attempts to kill fake Junko, but Mekamaru intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Mekamaru dies in the attempt. Azuru kills Jihiro before Nekamaru can react. Rest in peace, Jihiro. Neka uh, there's nothing you can do, Nekamaru. But you snap out of it, and Taka finds a lovely bikini. Sister attempts to kill Taka, jealous of his lovely bikini, but Togami intervenes just in time. Togami had to kill Sister to protect Taka's life. Cory in the house might be coming after you, <laughs> my man Togami. Fat Togami does his best to avoid Taiko. Monami can't stop phoning, uh, fa uh, fawning over Ryoko. Jeez Louise, deep breath. <sighs> Celeste attacks Chiaki and Azuru from behind, slaughtering them both. Togami tries to kill Fat Togami, but Fat Togami retaliates and kills him instead. We now know which Togami is the better of the two, but was there ever any really quite? And there was never a doubt, never a single doubt in the world. Of course it was Fat Togami. Toko wearing leather scraps is a sight to behold, and we lost so many people today. Yep, that was... I felt it. I felt a feeling in my gut. My first gut feeling, wrong. Second one, pretty accurate, because we lost... <laughs> what? Um... 11 people? Is that 11? I think that's 11. Ladies and gentlemen, Claire de Lune 4. Gonta. Pekko. Junko. AI Gonta. Mukuro. Mekamaru. Chihiro. Sister. Chiaki. Izuru. Togami. And once we lose six more people, we'll check out everybody's statuses in the top ten. I'm interested. I don't know. We lost a lot of legit people this episode, actually. Who did we... We lost... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six legit. And... We also lost five not legit. So I think that's good. I think we're A-OK. -okay. We're A-OK -okay to continue going. It's probably still pretty even. But let's find out after clicking next round we'll see just how even it remains at the start of round three fat togami tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake your team doesn't really look too bad fat togami ryoko doesn't really understand what's happening you probably don't you probably have forgotten everything's happening where's your notebook girl where's your notebook monami hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone taka hasn't made some mistakes as a leader but he wants to do right by team legit hajime hums a song to himself Team Danganronpa employee number 341, Samugi is looking for an easy out. Fake Sparkling Justice waves our big stick around menacingly in an act of betrayal, fake Junko. And Team Danganronpa employee number 341, Samugi, team up and get rid of Monami. Rest in peace, Monami. The pile of flesh that used to be Azuru rots peacefully. Toko looks like she's on the verge of snapping. In a fit of frenzy, Kiyando creeps up on fake Junko and snaps her neck. Genocide Jack can't wait to kill again, Celeste mopes around uselessly, Samugi and Cory in the house conspire against Celeste. Nakamaru and Samugi get into an argument over who should be in charge, Taiko is looking for an easy way out. I mean, she's looking only, uh, looking out only for herself. Cory in the house is determined to survive this. We only lost two. Both of them from the split side, actually. Claire de Lune 4. Monami. Fake Junko. Who I probably should just start calling Junko because you know Junko Junko. I like I like fake fake Junko is Junko in my book now. Thank you, thank you for your participation, Junko. I appreciate you. We lost two. There's 14 remaining and four people. We will check out who's left. We will see our final 10, our top 
10. Will your pick make it to the top 10? Will my pick make it to the top 10? I hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, let's proceed and find out. Next round. Round 4. Ryoko does something really cute. She's trying to follow that Komaru track. Cory in the house gets cocky and ends up dying from a stupid mistake. He ain't coming home today, you guys. Team Danganronpa employee number 341. Samugi loves the way her rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. I'm sorry for giving her a free weapon, you guys. I'm so sorry. If she wins this one, <laughs> it'll be the most controversial win of all time. I like that. <laughs> Taiko eats something she shouldn't have, and she dies of horrible stomach pains. Taka feels horrible for failing Team Legit. They're not all dead yet, Taka. You guys could still win. Fat Togami finds us all below his concern. Uh, but you know what's not below his it's your concern? The <laughs> Celeste trying to kill you. But fake... Uh, trying to kill fake Sparkling Justice, but you intervene to protect her just like... Just like... Oh my gosh. Fat Togami, stop. Stop intervening to protect people. You're such a good leader. <laughs> and then you die in the attempt every time. <laughs> <laughs> Tumugi hums a song to herself. Kihando looks for his next victim. Whoa, Toko just found a laser gun. She starts swinging around and making pew 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 noises before she realizes she can just pull the trigger and make those sounds for real. Uh oh. Fake Sparkling Justice spots something shiny in the distance. Genocide Jack's bad brain turns into a horrible person. Uh, Nakamura recalls something about Usami and stops quietly, and Hajime ambushes fake sparkling justice and strangles her. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the four that we needed out. Claire de Lune for the people who just avoided the top ten. Cory in the house. Taiko. Fat Togami. Fake sparkling justice. Alright, yeah, I need to see the details real quick. <laughs> uh, we have Hajime, we have Celeste, we have Taka, we have Toko, we have Samugi, and we have Nekamaru, all from Team Legit. So they have a slight advantage over Team Split, who has four remaining, and they are Kiando, Genocide Jack, Ryoko, and Team Danganronpa, employee number 341 Samugi, who has a rocket launcher. Nobody knows how she got it, how she snuck it in here, but you know what? I'm gonna allow it. Let's proceed. Those are your top 10. Who's gonna win? Is your top 10 person still in? We have both some movies, don't we? Let's proceed. Let's find out who wins this thing. At the start of round 5, Samugi looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Something inside of Genocide Jack snaps, and Genocide Jack is now frenzied. She's got her scissors in hand, and she is ready to assault anybody standing in her way. Nekamaru disappears for a while and comes back with a wizard robe. He slips it on, scattering sparkles everywhere. That is a buff wizard robe. Hajime wonders about the future. The pile of ash, uh, the pile of flesh, not the pile of ash. Ooh, man, that cut deep. <laughs> that was too real. Pile of ash that used to be, uh, Taiko. Yikes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Taka just wants to be helpful. Ryoko does her best to avoid Team Dankarov employee number 341. That's a good idea because she has a rocket launcher and she's only looking out for herself. Toko feels unstoppable with her laser gun. Celeste can't wait to kill again and in a fit of frenzy, Kiando creeps up on Team Dankarov employee number 341. Samugi and sliders her. He knows that it was not moral to sneak a weapon into this game. You are supposed to find them on the field unless they are given to you for a pre-game win. Or if it's a part of the episode and he was like, Your morals clash with mine. You must die. And there she is. Can we get a Claire de Lune for? Team Danganronpa employee number 341. Samugi. And we've got nine remaining after that. Good job on you, Kiando. You, you are the, you're really the player of the game after that one because she could have won this whole thing with the rocket launcher. I would have felt a little bit bad, but... I think that that made for a, a better story, don't you guys? <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Next round. <laughs> round six. Kiando is looking around maniacally, seething. Hajime doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Genocide Jack. Why would you do that, Hajime? That is my homie from the squad. You're a villain. Taka still can't believe that Samugi has killed someone. You should believe it. AI Gonta's lifeless body rides with maggots. Usami is dead as well. Nakamaru shakes his wizard sleeves and a thousand tiny animals fall out. Tsumugi finds a lovely bikini and puts it on, it's quite revealing. Toko wants in things once and for all with Ryoko. Ryoko bites the dust, so long, other Junko. And Celeste finds a sword, shiny and sharp, it's a rather nice find. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost two, there are seven remaining, can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Genocide Jack. Ryoko. 
Seven people remaining. The last lucky seven. Who's gonna win this one? Who will join non-AI Chiaki in this in this game as a winner slash loser? Who's gonna be the winner? Let's find out. Next round, we lost one person this round. Who's it gonna be? I know who it is. You guys can see it too. You guys can read. You guys can look ahead. Nekamaru finds a suit of medieval armor and he now puts it on over his wizard robe. Kiando's frenzy finally dies down. Toko shoots her laser gun at Kiando. Good thing she can't aim. You need to get your eyeglasses adjusted, my girl. Taka finds a dapper suit and puts it on. It's rather fetching in an act of betrayal. Samugi and Celeste team up against Hajime. Another person gone from Team Legend. And Celeste swooshes the air with her sword. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost one. Claire de Lune, four. Hajime. And it's just Kiando on the other team, isn't it? Taka, Toko, and Celeste, and Samugi are all, and Nakamaru, are all legits. And Kiando is the only non-legit. He could, is he going to, to pull the early season Fui Hiko? And turn things. Is he gonna? Is he gonna turn it all around? Will he do this? I believe in him, cause he's my pick. Let's find out. Let's proceed. It is time for. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Round eight. Taka flaunts his bikini. Samugi and Celeste conspire against Toko. Uh, Chihiro's dead. Usami's dead. Celeste. Artfully cleaves Kiando into two with her sword. Nekamaro feels strong enough to handle anything. Toko is wearing leather scraps and a sight to behold. And Kiando is our only Claire de Lune 4. Kiando. And yeah, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to put the final five people into a uh, into another simulator to determine the winner. If you pick Team Legit, they dominated. They dominated more than I thought they would. I thought the Team Split would have this one in the bag, but they did not. So let's write down the people who will move on. It is Taka. It is Celeste. It is Samugi. It is Toko. And it is Nakamura. That's it. And we can see everybody's kills right now. Celeste, top killer, if somehow, some way, she manages to kill the other four people, she could tie for the most kills of all time. She could tie. And she's also had a pretty strong season in terms of kills. So we'll go back to team setup and I will set up these final five in their own little game and see who comes out as the winner. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys prepared? These are the final five. We have Taka, we have Toko, we have Samugi, we have Celeste, and we have Nekamaru. Who's going to win this one? I have no idea. I'm excited to find out, though, so without further ado, we got to end this episode. We got to find out our winner, and we have to proceed to start things off. Sumugi looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Toko challenges Nekamaru to a duel, and Nekamaru bites the dust. Rest in peace, Nekamaru. Toko came out on top, though. Celeste mopes around uselessly, and Taka has a horrible feeling in his chest. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that horrible feeling in Taka's chest doesn't mean that he's going to die, because... We have a 1 out of 4 chance that we will get a repeat winner, but a 3 out of 4 chance, a 75% chance that we will have a fresh winner. And by repeat winner, I mean, regardless, we have, we would have had a new winner for the season. But we had Toko and Nekamaru, who have both won in Season 1. Sumugi, Celeste, and Taka never won in Season 2, but Nekamaru will not be on the bracket. At least not today, he's still got next week, though. He's still got two more chance. Does he have two more chances? Is he in both episodes next week? I don't know. He is in both episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, he's in both episodes next week, but he's not in the winner's bracket today. Claire de Lune 4. Nakamaru. But I think we just have to continue to proceed. We have to find out who's gonna win this one. That's the most important thing. And as we click next round, we have one more death. We have a fresh winner. We have a brand new winner today because Samugi seems unshaken by any of this. Toko kind of wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Taka stares into the distance and Celeste looks for someone dumb enough to believe her, ladies and gentlemen. Claire de Lune 4. The other half of a member of the squad. Toko. Toko's really like the secretary, uh, the secretary of the squad. We we need her so that we can be like, we need, we need the other one and just toss pepper in her face. Ladies and gentlemen, with Toko gone, that means Samugi. Taka or Celeste will take their very first win. Who will it be? 
I need to find out. We all need to find out. By clicking next round, it will not be... Who? it won't be Celeste, because Samugi seems unshaken by any of this. Taka finds some leather scraps, just enough to patch together some rudimentary clothing. It looks rather caveman-like, and Celeste tries to kill Samugi, but Samugi retaliates and kills her instead. Ladies and gentlemen, she was ambitious, she was trying to get more kills, but she did not do it. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Celeste? Taka and Samugi. Will it be Samugi, the ultimate cosplayer? Will it be the 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 caveman <laughs> moral compass? I don't know, and I'm fine with either one winning. To be honest, I'm 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 really glad that it turned out this way. To be honest, I was kind of rooting for Celeste, but I'm fine with any one of these. Th I would have been fine with any one of these three. I really wish it was Celeste. Poor Celeste, you need a win, girl. You do. But let's find out who does get the win. Will it be Samugi? Will it be Taka? It will be... Samugi getting mauled by wild animals. Taka screams at nobody in particular. I believe that. Samugi! We will give you a beautiful Claire de Lune. Because your winner... With n no kills right now. I don't remember actually if he got any kills prior to this. That's a good question. Oh my goodness. He could be a pacifist victory, a victor. I don't think he, he might have gotten kills, but he might not have gotten kills. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Taka, from Team Legit. Good on you, Taka. Good on you. I don't know if you're a pacifist victory or not. I have to really actually go back, like, during editing and find out. So if he is a pacifist victory, go ahead and play a glorious track right now. And if he's not, just go ahead and play, like, cricket noises right here. But, you guys will see. You guys will see the, 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 the rest of the results probably down below the tally that's here. Toko had a kill, and Samugi had a kill, and <laughs> the other three kills were incidental, I guess. Congratulations to Taka, who has been waiting to get a win. I'm glad that we have gotten him off the list of people who still need a win. But, speaking of win, this is him on the glorious winner's bracket. Yes, coming in clutch close to the end of the season, he is on the winner's bracket. There he is. And if we look over to the loser's bracket, let's not forget that we had non-AI Chiaki take that big win or i guess big loss yeah yeah rest in peace to her but ladies and gentlemen this is it this is the end of days or the end of days is quickly approaching because let me tell you we only have two more episodes and they are hope versus despair and my lovely tier list which i think i think it'll go up mm, it'll go up this It's probably already up, actually. I recorded it earlier, so I might have put it up Tuesday or Wednesday, whichever day is open, because I... <laughs> There's a lot of content that we have <laughs> able to uh, to record, and let me tell you, it's just been... It's been a pretty good summer for the channel. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying it, because I've been enjoying making content. I am excited for those two games, because they're both big. The tier list one is the biggest game that's ever been on this channel, I think. I think it's over 100 people. So that's gonna be wild to record. That one might be the longest episode minute-wise. I have not recorded it yet. I'll record it sometime next week. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, that'll probably be the longest episode. And then the other episode still has quite a few people, Hope vs. Despair. I think it's... Slightly smaller than a game of 48, but it also might be slightly larger. I don't really remember. It's a toss-up. It's a real toss-up. You'll find out. You'll find out. You'll find out. You will find out. In less than a week's time, really, because it's next Thursday, not next Friday. And really less than a week's time, because this is after 4.30. By this time, next week, give or take, <laughs> give or take, really, we will have a complete winner's bracket, and we'll have a complete loser's bracket. And I guess I can tell you what I am thinking how this is gonna go. After next week, there will be a winner's game and a loser's game. Currently, anybody who is on the winner's bracket, Sonya, twice, or the loser's bracket, Kaede, 
twice. They'll actually be in those games twice. I was going to make those fan votes originally, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think it would be more fair to Samugi, not Samugi, I'm sorry, to Sonya, I'm just staring at Samugi right now. It would be more fair to Sonya and Kaede if they took their hard-earned victories and losses and had two chances to get in to the finale that way. That's not saying that you guys won't get fan votes, because you have to remember there's like six people? Six people who are on both brackets, if they end up in the top 12, like if we have Hina in the top 12 of the winners and we have Hina in the top 12 of the, uh, the top 12 of the losers, the losers variation of that will become a fan vote. Or it might be the winner. I think it's going to be whichever one was first. So Hina got on the loser's bracket before she got on the winner's bracket. So if both of them end up there, the loser's bracket will take priority, and you guys get to vote for someone for the winner's bracket, and that'll be the same for if it happens to Pekko or Fuihiko or... Uh, who else is doubling up? Sakura, Himiko... I'm missing a couple of people, but yes. There is still plenty of time for you guys to do all sorts of voting. I think that's the way I'm going to do it, because it wouldn't make sense to do a vote and then have to do more votes. So we're just going to do one big cluster of votes, if you guys even get any votes. I think the odds of you guys, I think I calculated the odds of you guys getting votes and it's still very high. <laughs> very high. So, ladies and gentlemen, your United States Aviators taking off telling you to stay classic passengers. I will see you all next week, and we will decide who will end off these brackets. Toodaloo. Flight crew, thanks for watching.